All right, back in with a quick video. Uh, here I'm going to show you how I clean up, repair these three turbo saddles. So yeah, this first one is the one I had. You can see the Nitsa glue was holding well on that side, pretty good. And then on this side, I actually fell on the bike, and the Nitsa glue just came off, so I kind of took it off. Um, and then these two saddles were donated by Jackson, so shout out Jackson, thanks for those. Um, you can see this one was in pretty rough condition, had a big gouge on the seat. But I think I'm going to clean it up and put on my dirt jump bike. You can see it's a little bit of rust down the rails, a little dried out. And then this second one is, I think, in pretty good condition. It just has that dried out crack on the side there. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty good. On the bottom, you can see, yeah, the rails a little bit rusted through there. So I'm going to show you how I, I get that rust off. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Let's see how we go. All right, so the first thing I do is I'm just going to clean all up a bit. Uh, so I have this little mixture. It's not orange pow power, but it's uh, water, about a tablespoon of dish detergent, and a little bit of Dove soap in there. So I find this mixture works pretty well in cleaning most stuff, so that's what I'm going to use. So basically I just spray it all in there, use a paper towel just to get rid of all the dirt, and that's the first thing I do. Yeah, basically just yeah, wipe it all down uh, when you're spraying just to make sure it doesn't get too wet. Um, just yeah, just, but just work all over the saddle, get rid of all the dirt. Um, you can see a little bit of black debris came off as well. But um, yeah, after that, this is pretty clean. All right, so the next thing I do is I want to moisturize a little bit. And I use uh, just uh, this moisturizer with uh, coconut oil in it. It seemed to work pretty well for me. I've done it on past saddles before. Um, I'm sure if you have a proper proper leather restore, you could use that too, but I'm just using what I can around the house. Um, yeah, but basically you just put it on and you just rub it in. Um, you can see some of the black coming off there, um, but that yeah, that's going to happen. But yeah, just work it all the way around the saddle. All right, yeah, so just speed it up a bit. Um, yeah, just take your time, work it all, all the way around where all the leather bits are. And then the next thing I, I'm going to do is basically... I uh, use a little bit of WD-40 on the rails here and yeah just be careful you don't get on the leather otherwise it's going to dry it out a little bit or you just wipe it off if you do and then use just a wire brush to brush off all the all the rust and that should work pretty well. Alright yeah just cleaning it up pretty straightforward. Um, so this is how it looks you can see all the rust is basically off the rails. Uh, the leather looks a little bit better already with the moisturizing cream on it. Um, so we're going to put this one aside for now, and I'm going to clean the other one as well. Same, yeah, same routine here. Just yeah, give it a good wipe down first with the with the detergent mix, and then what I'm going to do is yeah, basically use the moisturizing cream, clean it through, um, and then yeah, just WD-40 on the rails. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any real problems here. Just once again, I think getting in between the rail and the leather bit on the side there was the the hardest but yeah just make sure you're careful when you're doing it and then it should work out pretty good um, and here is the what it looks like after I've done that um, you can see the rails are pretty good uh, and then yeah the leather is looking a bit better um, you can see some cream still there but yeah overall pretty good so now I think this one's pretty done I'm just gonna leave this one as is but the other one I'm gonna patch up the, the hole there Alright, just cleaning up a little bit here. Um, yeah, so for, for the next one, um, what I'm doing is just wiping it clean. So I'm going to fix that little nick on that side. Uh, and then for this one, um, yeah, I'm just going to fix that hole, that big hole there. Um, just make sure it's all clean and and dry because when we put the, the filler in, the Nitsu glue filler, um, you just want to make sure it's going to adhere. So I'm going to fill that hole. I'm going to fill the little hole up the top. Um, and then I'm going to put some little bits where there's uh, little holes everywhere. And I think uh, that should do it. So yeah, this Nitsu glue I just got at the local Bunnings. Um, there's a three pack, but I need to use one pack for the last saddle. So I'm just going to uh, use this to fill it up. So yeah, just make sure your hands are clean um, when you're using as well. So what you do is take it out of the pack and you just got to 
rub it in your fingers for a little bit. Um, I think just to activate it. And then you have, you know, maybe like 10 minutes before it starts um, getting too sticky or being hard to work with. So what I try to do is I try to do this bit pretty quick. But yeah, basically you just put it on and you smooth it out with your finger. And then, um, and then yeah, that's basically it. Try to smooth it uh, as best as possible. Um, sometimes it's a little bit hard because it's so sticky, but then um, once you work out a good technique to do it, it, it ends up not being too bad. Um, yeah, one of the tricky things with Nitsu glue is knowing when to uh, stop because you could just keep trying to smooth it forever, but then it ends up looking worse. So yeah, so that looks pretty good for me. So I'm going to just stop there and leave it off to the side. Um, just, you can see I try to smooth it as much as possible. Um, but what I'm going to do after it dries is sand it down, but we're going to do the other saddle now. Yeah, so basically just putting it, putting the putty in the hole, feeling, uh, feeling it as best I can, and then just try to spread it out smooth over the edge. Um, yeah, this took a little bit, um, and then eventually I just ran out of Nitsu glue. Um, but yeah, basically just what I was trying to do was just make sure it was a smooth transition for the fill. Uh, but yeah, it ended up just uh, looking like this. This is where I stopped. Um, you can see it's all over my fingers, got real sticky at the end. Um, you can see it's not perfect. So what I plan to do is probably just go over it again with a little bit more Nitsu glue once it dries. Um, I'm gonna leave this overnight, leave both overnight and come back and visit it tomorrow. All right, here's the next day. Uh, yeah, so basically it's dry now. You can see that uh, this is side done, this is the other side. Yeah, basically it just dries like um, an end of a pencil eraser. That's that's the feeling. It's like a little bit soft, but it's definitely firm. Um, has a little bit of give. Um, but what I want to do is I'm going to sand it down and then match the other side. And here, um, yeah, you can see when I push it, it still goes in. So it kind of, it's a little bit, uh, it can flex a little bit. But um, basically what I want to do is I'm probably going to um, refill this one over as well. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So what I did here was uh, I was giving it a light, a light sand to see if it would uh, kind of flatten out a little bit and just to get rid of all the uh, kind of raised bits so I have a flat surface to put a little bit more uh, Nitsu glue on. So yeah, I just sand it down with a uh, thousand grit wet and dry. Just make sure you use water so your sandpaper doesn't get clogged up. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. All right, it's the same technique here. Yeah, just filling it over again, um, just making it smooth as smooth as possible. So I ended up using another pack of Nitsu glue here, my second pack. Um, and then this is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, you can see I just smoothed that as much as possible. I left on a little bit extra so I can sand it off. Um, I ended up doing this one over again on this side just to make it a little bit smoother. Um, and yeah, that's it. Leave it overnight and then, uh, yeah, sand it again. Uh, yeah, I also um, moisturize it after I finish sanding um, just to give it a one finish off again. And that's it. I'm going to show you the three saddles. So this is the one that was in pretty good condition. That's before, um, after. Basically looks the same, but um, it's a little bit more supple, I think. Uh, looks a little bit more, more finished. I know it's clean. Um, the rails are clean too. And here's the one that was busted up on that one corner. Um, here's the after. Pretty good, I think. Pretty cleaned up. And then the final one, the big hole, um, just before, and then yeah, after. So yeah, I think it's uh, definitely an improvement. Now I can, uh, what I'm gonna do is just put this on my dirt jump bike anyway, because I think it's gonna get a little bit of damage, so I'm not too worried about it, but I think, I think it turned out pretty good. All right, that's the video. Uh, let me know what you think in comments and stay tuned for the next video.